working on this morning <clears throat> and uh, it's oh I didn't phew, I slept well but um, I don't wake up <laughs> it's really weird it's really difficult to wake up and then I opened everything around me all the blinds and everything and it's a grey grey sky not very pleasant um, but look at the van that's next to me he's kind of uh, fireplaces. I thought it was selling windows. Or well, maybe it was a different one. I don't know. That's nice, isn't it? I mean, look. Does he sleep in that van? Well, where does he sleep? At the top, maybe. That's the bed area, maybe. Um, but where does he cook and have his something to drink? A cup of tea and stuff like that. But I, when we told that we're not supposed to be using wood fires anymore. So how are they making any business? No. Anyway, lovely colours look beautiful. I don't want to go out there. Oh, not lovely. It's so gorgeous. And over there, they've got a little companion here. <laughs> it's all right here. It's not too bad. Um, I probably won't stay again. It'll only be like a pit stop. But it's okay. It is five past seven in the morning, which is quite late for me. <laughs> Living this life. <laughs> but, um, let's put this in the bag. Yeah, it's five past seven in the morning now, and it is quite late for me getting up at this time. Get rid of the sugar. Am I not focusing today, am I? There you go. I've got my Hello Fresh box there because it's nice to just stick everything in a box rather than just dump it all over the floor. <laughs> See, I need another. I need another box or something down there. Um, to put all of this stuff in so it's all nice and central and easy to get out. But anyway, good morning. <laughs> oh. um, last night, which will be like a few days ago now, <laughs> I uploaded the last of the trip that we had and it was so because if you listen to right to the very end if you could bear it <laughs> then you'll hear me blub <laughs> um i was just full of emotions i was leaving tim on his own with his problems and <laughs> i didn't like doing that but i'm not his mother <laughs> i'm not his wife i'm not his you know whatever carer he's a grown man he can look after himself and he has been looking after himself but you know you still feel don't you and it was really good to be able to get away for a few days and enjoy myself with some people it was really good some companionship on an adventure i'd love to do it again so if you're up for it just give me a ring or send me an email all you have to do is go to the about section in youtube and click on the contact and then the, the email's there but um Yeah, it brought back so many memories doing that. But I've still got a few more to upload. <laughs> My thoughts of the adventure. I've already um, uploaded the reflections. Oh, that was a bit fired. <laughs> but right now... Oh... No, even though I'm living an unusual life, or lifestyle I should say, I'm still getting into some kind of routine which is not conducive to my health. <laughs> so, I like variety, I like adventure, I like doing new things and learning new things all the time. 
and I know I've got to be able to do a few things to this van in order to make it comfortable, like putting a box down there, so to speak. Yeah, I should put that down there, shouldn't I, just to see what it feels like. Uh, I'd love that fridge up the top, actually. <laughs> you put a fridge on the bottom. You have to get on their knees all the time to get to it. <laughs> but the, I've noticed the further up with the phone you get, the warmer it gets so in the boxes above it's really quite warm so i wouldn't put food up there i always put food on in the bottom boxes so that it keeps cool and maybe the cool comes from the ground up or maybe that isn't um insulated as well maybe don't know I haven't got floor heating my goodness what kind of planet are you living on <laughs> anyway uh. See, um, when anybody texts me, I take a kind of like a day or two to get back to them because that phone is what I use my internet on. When that's plugged in, I the stupid thing is, you send me a text and I can't hear it. It doesn't sound. I don't know why. Maybe the settings are wrong. But I've tried to put the settings on so that it does sound. So it's on the internet. I can't get hold of it. When somebody calls me, the internet cuts off. <laughs> The texts come through and I can't hear them. So forgive me if you send me a text and I get it and I respond like a day later. I'm not playing games. I'm just living my life and trying to get the best out of the electronic gadgets that I've got. <laughs> but anyway. Huh. This is a bit of a waffle morning. Today I'm going to see uh, a potential office space for my counselling and my book publishing. And uh, it seems ideal for me, really, really lovely. Uh, it's in a garden centre, which is beautiful. The man said that if I do choose to rent it, then um, I could use all the plants that he's got in the nursery. And that would be lovely because I could, well, not get any commission for selling them, but spread them around the place in a way because I love plants um, in a way that is flowering in every season and that would be beautiful especially for therapy i love plants gardening and then i'm also going to consider <laughs> uh, buying one of these um it's not a caravan as such because i can't tow one of them around i've got two or three options that I'm playing with at the moment and I don't know what to do I wanted to buy land but land is just going up in price just too far and too fast for me to catch up with or even attempt to put a bid in every time I do they always put so many hundred thousands <laughs> not that I'm exaggerating um, over the bidding price to me that's a bit unfair I just I can't understand why we're doing that system. If that's the system you have in Scotland, you have an offer, you have a price, and then you say offer's over. But here, it's supposed to be negotiating, bidding down the price. Maybe that's what people used to do when they're exumping people. Gazump. Horrible word, isn't it? Something in my eye. Hang on a second. Oh, dear me. So, what was I talking about? Yeah, I've got a number of options and I'm lucky to have them. I know I am. But if I do that and I have to give up this, I don't want to give up this because I like it, you know. Maybe if I get one of those bands that Tim and Alex and Sean have got, maybe. Hmm. Turn that into like an overnighter. Like this. Gives me... <laughs> gives me the option of freedom. Oh no, I'm spoiled for choice. <laughs> I should be thankful. I know that I'm not 60 yet, but I've only got a couple of years and the government did me out of my bloody retirement by seven years. You think how much money that is over the period of seven years, how much you would be getting every month from the government, you know, from your state pension that I've paid into that they're not giving me now for seven years. That's if I live that long. In this pandemic, it's possible that I won't live that long. 
I was able to get enough to possibly buy a second hand um, mobile home on a decent site. You see, if you go to uh, a certain site where they sell them directly brand new, then all you have to do is go to them, buy it, and then ask them for a site that you like. Or if you find a site and they've got some plots available, go to that company and get them to deliver it. And they're really quite reasonable prices at the moment. Um, maybe because people are buying up houses left, right and centre. I don't know. Huh. But all I want is somewhere to establish myself as a therapist so that I can help people get through their emotions and understand them a little bit better. So they don't feel trapped by them and held hostage. There's no need to feel bad about anything, sad about anything. I know I gave an example in my uh, day five part two video of how annoyed I got. I was walking around the church and I was having a lovely time and it was, you know, something irritated me in the morning and my mum's not well. It's just kind of, uh, you know, like a build up of tension. And then when I was having a really nice time in that church, St. John's, and watching Tim um, <laughs> preach in the altar, <laughs> read the Bible in the altar, which apparently you're not allowed to do anymore, we had to make a point, you see. <laughs> we had to say, look, you know, individuals all around can do something. And if you're prepared to go out there and just say, no, I'm not accepting this. Yeah, I, Tim and I are not religious. We're not. We, we don't um, subscribe to the Christian or Catholic or whatever religion there is um, out there. Don't subscribe to any. We don't go to church every week. But the thing is, we don't want people to not have that choice, not have that option. And also the churches and pubs are the hub of the community take that away from people and they feel lost and maybe that's the game they're playing so it's not right churches are part of our heritage and you should not be locking them there are no, not many people go in there stealing stuff the only people who steal are the bloody governments and crowns <laughs> remember Henry the Eighth? going around, disillusion of the monasteries and stealing all the gold. That was what the game was. Nothing to do with religion. Ugh, anyway. I don't know because I wasn't there. Wish I was. Wish I was immortal. <laughs> well, my soul is immortal. Wouldn't that be lovely to be able to witness all of that firsthand and see it unfold before your eyes? Just like we're seeing this reset unfold before our eyes. People still not getting it. I walked into a shop yesterday and I didn't have my mask on again and neither did the shopkeeper have his mask on. I like little local shops because they're the ones who are the way forward. <sighs> support them, please support them. And he was chatting away to me, great, it was lovely, nice conversation, then his man walked in, young man, I don't know, about 25 I guess, big black mask all over his face big brown eyes, beautiful brown eyes and um, that's all you can focus on now is the eyes because <laughs> I hate looking at those masks especially the black ones especially those bloody blue nappies um, and his eyes were <gasps> she hasn't got a mask on <laughs> he didn't say anything though <laughs> but his eyes told me everything <laughs> and I felt like saying to him <sighs> I'm not going to breathe on you, don't worry, and then spit everywhere. <laughs> just thought, oh. no I didn't, I just smiled sweetly and I left. <laughs> After paying of course, I didn't leave deliberately because he came in at that moment and tried to make him feel at ease, no, <laughs> no, I'm not going to make it easy for them. Oh dear, but, um, yeah, I uh, at the church I was annoyed. It just culminated in that and I thought, oh, I can't take any more of this. So I think that poor man had my wrath, really. 
<laughs> but it was just a culmination of all these emotions building up. And I'm the person who understands emotion and I know what they do and how they hold you hostage and uh, I know what anger is and I was trying to keep myself calm but I really wanted to shout and I just had to say something even though I wasn't really listening to what he was saying. Yes, I know we're here to do maintenance but doesn't he realise people are creating these maintenance jobs not because there's a free time to do it in but because it stops people from doing what they want to do and it gives them a valid excuse to close things down. So I mean, what maintenance were they doing? Anything with scaffolding that was likely to drop something on my head or painting the floor that was gonna, I was going to slip on? No, I don't know what they were doing but there was nothing around the place to tell me what they were doing. It could have been dusting for all I know. <laughs> Cleaning the lights, the chandeliers, or I don't know, didn't have any chandeliers. They could have been cleaning the windows. I had two vans outside, so maybe I should have taken note of what that van was providing. I'll have a look at that. Anyway, right now I am wondering why I'm talking to myself into a camera and I know that this gets out to lots of people and it helps some people because when I'm expressing my views other people are feeling the same and don't know how to express them so they're saying yay I feel like that too <laughs> and um, it's good to be able to help them by giving them an example of what I'm going through so that's why I continue saying this I think but it will be good if I can have one of those options that I have, um, either buying a mobile home, can't buy a piece of land, which is my dream, which is what I would really love to do, buy a piece of land and put this on it and live out of this and maybe buy a container to put in it and then start building up my own little garden centre, growing vegetables and having a little goat and things like that and chickens. And I love that, really, really would. but. I have to put that on hold for now. It's not going to go away. It's just going to be on hold. Um, so I have to think about buying one of these little mobile homes and renting an office. And if I can rent an office in a garden centre instead of a garage, which is another video I've uploaded showing you an office I looked at. Um, I would prefer the garden centre because it's quieter, even though it's right by a road. But it doesn't matter. I've got somewhere to park my van. If I have the garden centre option, I can live in this. I'll just scoot around the area at night time finding somewhere to sleep. But then I can work in that all day in a lovely environment with some nice people around. <laughs> or I can buy this mobile home, or a mobile home at least. Not my ideal, not my choice, but it's something that's an option that's on the table for me. And I'm going to have a look at both today to see what I can do. But anyway, here end this today's lesson. And uh, I hope... <sighs> no, I don't hope, I trust that you will have a good one. Happy bye for now.